Hi guys and welcome back. Um, this is my video number five of the moon and as you can see I've been doing some uh, photography as well as um, running some video and things have improved a little bit, a little less shaking and hopefully uh, a little bit more detail well actually a lot more detail as uh, as you can probably see uh, in this particular clip um, the next clip will be a little bit better or well, a little bit closer is what I should say I went and uh, purchased a uh, three times Barlow uh, so I'll actually stack the uh, two times Barlow that I'm using now on top of the three times Barlow so uh, it gets a little bit closer a little bit more detail but anyway, these, uh, this is with the 2 times Barlow, and then I've got some of the uh, processed photos right at the end here of this uh, first chunk of video. And uh, there they are. Um, they didn't turn out too, too bad. Um, hopefully, you know, everything is going to be a little bit better. It keeps improving. That's basically it, right? So, and here we are with the, uh, the three times Barlow stacked on top of the two times Barlow, or actually the other way around. Um, but uh, as you can see, we're a lot closer to the moon, and the detail is really starting to come out. Um, I quite enjoy this because it, it really, really uh, gives me a sense of, hey, I'm, I'm accomplishing a little bit better uh, video and as you probably see it's it's fairly stable i'm still trying to get used to the uh the controls um with the telescope of course uh, being on wi-fi so everything is uh it's uh, remote and that's one of the things that i've done is stayed away from the telescope while i'm doing this um so i'm not causing any of the uh the shaking so the only thing that we're seeing right now as far as the, the movement is the telescope itself and of course the atmospheric uh, distortion. So um, as you can see, the, uh, the quality is not bad. A little bit on the dark side in my opinion. Um, but again, that's something, it's trial and error. Um, big learning curve for me. So um, I'm glad I'm getting as much detail as I am and you know it uh, it makes me happy to see that things are improving and hopefully uh, i'll be able to keep going with it um you know it uh, should get a little better uh, as i progress so but anyway this is pretty darn good um you know from what i started out with uh, to where i am now just over the uh, the course of the five videos it's um, been a, quite a journey and definitely have improved some so um, anyhow if uh, if you uh, have any comments um, suggestions um, by all means uh, throw them into the uh, the comment section down below and uh, please uh, do click on the like button if you enjoyed it and I'm going to uh, try to keep going with um, with my journey for the ultimate shot of the moon. And uh, we'll see what happens once we uh, get uh, to a little bit more uh, full moon. Or, well, it's waxing right now, so I'm getting a little bit more every day. Uh, pending clouds, of course, and temperatures. Uh, it has warmed up just a, a tiny bit but minus 15 Celsius or minus 18 Celsius when this was shot is still a little bit too chilly for me. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the zoomed in photos uh, didn't turn out as well as I, I like. Um, but again, that's the way, uh, the way it goes because I was right beside the telescope, so uh, induced a little bit more shake. And you'll see that um, near there. Um, not as good as the quality of the uh, the video itself but nevertheless they're they're not but too too bad as far as i'm concerned 
I'll live with them. Um, hopefully we'll get through them and uh, get a little bit better as the uh, time goes by. Anyway, for now, take care. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be able to uh, keep uh, on this journey. Till next time, guys. Clear skies. And thanks for watching.